Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Urvi. If you're new here, I would like it if you would take a moment to subscribe to my channel as it would encourage me to make more such helpful videos for you. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday and you can also find me on Instagram. So much has been written on the psychology of colors and if you are an advertising or a designing student, you already have a module on the meaning of colors and where to use them. If you're working for a corporate, then you certainly have an assigned color palette. And in this case, all you need to do is to understand the meaning of those colors. But if you're working independently or you're going to set up an organization, it is recommended that you create a style guide. In order to have a color palette, you first need to select a primary color then use a color matching tool for selecting other colors to make sure all your visuals look coordinated and consistent. You can use free tools like colorexplorer.com or Adobe Color Wheel for selecting colors that match with your primary color. Now, how do you choose a primary color? It is a color that should be communicating your brand character. And the question you can ask here is, what are you trying to communicate? Are you trying to come up as bold, aggressive? or friendly and honest? Are you trying to be risky or stable? Colors help to communicate such things. Here are some things that you should know about colors and I will be explaining each one in detail. First, colors have a general and contextual meaning. Contextual meanings generally overpower general meanings. Different shades of a particular color have their own meanings. And finally, the general meanings conform to a certain logic. Let me explain what I mean by this. We all know that this stop sign is not as effective as this stop sign. We don't need to explain this to someone that a red sign has more power to stop someone than a gray sign. So generally, red means to stop and it also means danger. So the question is, if red means stop or if it means danger, why does a McDonald's logo have red color in it? And the answer is, in the context of food, red does not mean stop. There are a lot of edible things that are red. So as far as food is concerned, we understand that red is safe, unlike blue, which means spoiled food. If you look at a lot of fast food joints, they usually compete on visibility. So if you are driving and if you see a big red or a yellow logo, you are more likely to go to that place. As red is also used to portray danger, there are cases where people think fast food is bad for health. This is where McDonald's became fidgety and changed its legendary red and yellow logo to a green logo in Europe, as green is considered more healthy, fresh and eco-friendly. It was also tried in Russia, but Russian people believed that McDonald's is safe and they reverted back to the red color, but they chose a darker shade of red, which represents more like a ketchup red. Red does mean danger generally, but in the context of food, red means safe. These contextual meanings overpower the general ones. Shades are different, so a dark red means much safer than a brighter red. And now, I will be talking about the different basic colors, black and white, red, yellow, green and blue. Black and white. Black has a very strong association with aggression and dominance while white has a strong association with submissiveness, peacefulness and honesty. Since we do most of our activities during the daytime, we perceive darkness as danger. So, if you look at a picture of men dressed in black outfits and give them big guns, they definitely look intimidating and dangerous. A group of researchers studied the relationship between the color black and aggression and they found out that men wearing black are perceived more aggressive than men wearing grey and to a certain extent, men wearing black are perceived as more respectable than men wearing grey. Apple used to only have black and white iPhones to signal status of their owners and it came out with a budget line which was very colourful and the message they were trying to give was quite clear, black, grey and gold are for a much professional or higher status audience compared to the colourful models. 
you need a lot of colors if you are selling something to children compared to adults i don't think you will have any trouble understanding which restaurant is more pricey even if you don't know what they offer so generally black means aggression dominance and danger white means honesty peacefulness submission and black and white together signal status so can you have a black and white presentation if you're presenting in front of a high status audience or you perceive yourself as a high status individual then yes you can have a black and white presentation moving on to the color red red is very close to black and it generally means danger and avoidance for men it means aggression and dominance so they generally wear a black and white outfit with a red power tie but also remember that red is the color of excitement it infuses energy in you and inspires you to take action an example would be the red bull energy drink so if you are looking for a presentation that has powerful and demanding presence red could be a good primary color of choice for you but proceed with caution as it is a super powerful color and too much of it could end up overshadowing your presentation message yellow just like the color red yellow is very bright and attracts attention especially with black that is why a lot of factory or construction workers have those yellow and black uniforms which signal caution another meaning of the color yellow is derived from nature it is the color of the sun summer sunflowers and so we perceive it as joy optimism and fun just make sure you choose an appropriate background color to make it pop golden yellow signals status because of its association with gold so yellow attracts attention mostly with black and golden yellow signals status in the english language green grass grow are related words and green of course means peaceful calm and natural this is also why a lot of doctors and nurses wear green scrubs to give a calming presence for their patients and long exposure to green reduces stress so green signals naturalness and it is calm and relaxed blue is one of the most well used colors in presentations as it is perceived soothing honest and it builds a sense of trust or confidence it is a non aggressive friendly color and the only place where it is considered bad is in the context of food where it means spoiled blue is linked to competence it is associated with intelligence communication trust efficiency duty and logic if you google businessmen this is what you will see and imagine all of these men wearing red suits it will be a disaster if you want to show friendliness blue is your color red facebook logo looks very weird so blue means friendship and non aggression it is non dominating friendly creative and more intellectually sophisticated and to conclude a huge table where red is associated with excitement blue with competence and black with sophistication if you like this video don't forget to share it and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any related videos from this series